Now, welcome back to the channel. I am here once again with Sailor Naboo. It's me. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that Rancor. They had another Fan First Friday on Friday, oddly enough. What? Yeah, and they basically was just another advertisement for the Rancor, though this time <laughs> they showed off kind of a physical model, though they didn't show anybody actually touching and holding the physical model. They just showed pictures of it, which was a little strange. Um, they also told us the tier one rank or unlock, whatever we call it. The tier one disappointment? Yeah, the the Gamorian guard on a Power of the Force uh, card back, the original mm -hmm. Power of the Force from. So a figure that you would you would be okay with getting to put with a Rancor, of course, but not in a box that you're never going to want to open. Yeah, I would rather... Well, I would rather they not have given us a Gamorrean Guard in the first place. It, I have a bunch of them. They could just come they with were, a Guard in the first place. Well, sure, they, it could come with one, maybe a special one that fits into his mouth better or something. I, I mean, I don't know how they would do that. Uh, the regular one should fit in there. But my, the problem is you're not going to want to open this. No. Even if you are... A opener and you don't really care about the special card backs that they just right. love to do you would you're still better off selling this which is probably gonna sell for a pretty penny mm -hmm. and then buying other Gamorrean guards <laughs> so basically the the tier one unlock is something you're either gonna hang on your wall or you're gonna sell to get other Gamorrean guards because it just doesn't make any sense to open this thing no it's it, it's a waste of the first unlock it should have been Ula. Ula. Ula yeah it should have been Ula it should have been I'd either take loop holding a bone yeah, yeah, I could, I could see that. Even prop pieces, just to sit around, some prop pieces, piles of bones, debris, whatever. Mal Malakili, the Rancor Keeper. Oh, that would have been great. I mean, yeah. he, these seem so obvious that I can't believe Tier 1 is a Gamorrean Guard on a card back that you don't want to open. Yep. Because who's, who's going to buy this and keep the Rancor in the package? I'm sure, yes, some people will. Well, uh, either for, because you're just a, you're in a mint in box collector, or you're buying it to sell it down the road, or whatever you're going to do with it. But I think most people are going to open this thing up and want to display it, and they're going to want to have things like come with it that are going to display with it. Honestly, I think you're reaching in the first place. We're going to have a trouble getting to the actual 9,000 backers, let alone to 11. Yeah. Well, that's that's the other part I want to talk about. Why did they release all these or announce or have yeah. all these Hab HasLab projects at the same time? You have the Proton Pack, which now has its 7,000 mm -hmm. backers, and it's actually the most expensive of the three. Mm-hmm. You also have the, the G.I. Joe Sky Striker, I believe it is, which is a little bit ahead of the Rancor last I looked mm -hmm. and has, a I think, needs 10000 to be backed. Why did you put these three things out at the same time when they have... There's a good because degree of overlap. they want collectors to be forced into they want, choosing? I mean, that, that's literally, what, 400 350 two, like I mean, you're almost talking about if you want all of these, that's almost $1,000 when you're factoring and shipping and everything. And there is a lot of overlap between Ghostbusters, G.I. Oh, Joe. Oh, my goodness. If you were born in the 70s or 80s, I mean... This that's, was your jam. Yeah, that's your jam. That's your wheelhouse right there. All three of those things you could be collecting. And, I, I mean, thankfully, Wait. I only collect the Star Wars, but... I, I don't think I would allow you to pack no. three. I'd be like, are you kidding? No. No, no. no you would I mean, you, you're you okay with the one every couple of years because I have, I have the sail barge. I have mm -hmm. the, the Razor Crest will be here someday, I think. Someday. And, you know, and I back this one immediately. So you have no problem with that. We collect the things together, so that mm -hmm. that's always nice. It's always nice to have a, a wife who collects with you. Well, I'm disappointed with you. because this one is the one in the Black Series 6-inch scale. Yeah. This is the one I wanted. This is the one I'm most excited about because the other because two the other two are going to sit in the box. I just yeah. have them because I wanted them. Because I, that's me. Pretty much, yeah. Because I, I really only collect into the six inch yeah. line. So yeah. the other two were they're cool pieces, but they're not something no, that I really just, goes a hundred percent with what we are. No, because we display. Yeah, we are finally setting up our our Star Wars room. We were going to do something in the basement. We were going to finish our basement, but that it's, maybe, it's a long way yeah, off. Yeah, that's a long that way basement. off. It's it's it, that's a process. So we decided to turn one of our spare bedrooms into a Star Wars room. We'll have some pictures of that coming in, in videos in the near future. We're getting all the shelves <laughs> up and everything. You say near future? It's going to take me a long time to pose all those figures. <laughs> well, not when I uh, slave driver you to uh, uh, get them done. No. <laughs> but but anyway, to get to get back on topic here, I don't know what Hasbro was thinking putting all three of these up at the same time. And then mm -hmm. and then their inspiration or their motivation to reach this goal is something that again <laughs> that people yeah already, already have, have a Gamora. It's a, just a normal Gamorrean guard. So it's something like I said, you either have like I think we have three of them. Mm -hmm. You either have it or you're never going to open it and display it. So what is the point? How yeah. how was this the first? Has year? well we've learned over the years Hasbro's not very clever. No. First, I mean I mean I thought they were getting clever at one point because they made the six inch scale special forces first order Tie Fighter. They gave it to the stores. Yeah. The stores were couldn't move them. 
Oh no, we saw them for like, at the end. We saw fifty dollars at, at Toys R Us. It's a horrible item for retail. It was kind of expensive. It, was, it had a very really. niche market. You weren't, yeah. you know, people weren't buying them for their kids. They were buy- collectors were the ones yeah. buying these. To be to be honest, well, space is the problem. With and it. then they could put one on a shelf at a time. Yeah, space. You're not going to buy multiple. I so mean, maybe they got a whole bunch of a store got a whole bunch of them in. If they're not keeping tabs on it, they may not have any sitting out. And then they're sitting with a bunch in the back. It it was a weird item. It is, and I feel like the the Tie Fighter kind of led into this idea mm-hmm. of Haslab because, like, I mean, you do have these bigger projects, which. Right. You know, there are certainly, I want the Rancor. I, I know a lot of people listening right now are probably really excited for the Rancor, even at the price point. I mean, I, I love the idea of bigger items to put in my collection. Right. And so there, there is a market for this. And I, I do, you know, I, I've talked about it before. I, I part understand, like, yeah, ha, you know, they probably took a loss. So they took an L on the, on the TIE Fighter. But oh, they yeah. realize there's, there is the market for it. There are fans who want it. So HasLab is the idea to get the product to the, the customers who want, who want it. it and not overproduce and end up... But you it's know. so strange that they're going to do with the HasLab, and they're they're making this for collectors, and if you want one, you back one. Straightforward. And then they go out and make a bunch of exclusive, give them to all the retailers, <laughs> and then, I mean, oh, the duh. Walmart? Oh, Walmart yeah. Let, let's, yeah. Let's shift topic just a little bit here. And the Walmart, the, the Captain Rex from the Bad Batch, where he has basically a poncho on, I think mm-hmm. it's otherwise the same figure. Now... In a previous video, I told the story. I was there. I believe it was 11 o'clock. That thing went on pre-order. I added it to my cart. I went to check out. At 11, I mean, I was refreshing the page, and within 30 seconds, it was sold out. So now I'm stuck because it's never going to show up in a Walmart, let's be honest. So now I'm stuck trying to have to get this thing on the the after black market, let's call it, to the, hmm. the scalper market. And, you know, you look on eBay... And there are people selling 60 of these, 50 of these, 40. I mean, multiple people <laughs> selling dozens upon dozens for 60 oh, to $70 each. I didn't even tell you the greatest thing. It Walmart, gets better. Walmart yes. emailed me. Oh, they do Wal- this to Walmart me too. Walmart emailed me because I have an you know, account and they yes. know I was looking at the item. They emailed me, the item you want is back in stock. I got so excited, clicked on it, go to the site, and I'm like, oh, if I want to pay sixty dollars yes, for it from is, their third parties that they let that sell on their site, even, yes, that is even better. The shock trooper they keep emailing me. I, I swear, I get an email from them every day about the shock trooper. Mm-hmm. That is also an exclusive to them. That it's they have it available. Oh, you you, you search this item. You're you, you're interested, and they are literally have it for sixty dollars from the scalpers who bought it from them in the first place. Like either Hasbro or Walmart needs to correct this. This is ridiculous. I should I, not go on eBay and say, see somebody who has sixty Captain Rexes. <laughs> That was clearly allowed to pre-order right, them. Right, right. Why aren't they putting a limit on these at the beginning? I don't know. You know, for the first day, limit one. And for then the after first, that, yeah. let, let them go Even crazy. Even the first hour that. or something, you know. I Or do the whole, you know, buy one and then to, to avoid the bots, you have to do that I'm a human check or whatever it's called. I mean, just, you got to do something because this mm-hmm. is, I mean, you're, you're losing collectors, Hasbro. I know that you're probably not listening to me, but you're going to lose collectors. People don't want to pay $70 no. for one figure that... They should just be able to go to a Walmart website or go to an actual Walmart and walk in and buy the figure <laughs> for twenty five dollars. Go to a Walmart and find any Star Wars product. I dare you. No, you're right about that. I think we were one last <laughs> night. Didn't we go to a Walmart last night? So yeah. I'm like, maybe by some weird miracle, the Rex will be there. If you and so we a, walked in there and a, they had, they had a, a grief cargo in the black series, and then one grief cargo like black eight series, eight vintage series Lando, Windows, yeah, and then some product for Grogu. Yeah, some Grogu's. Some yeah. Grogu that was product, it. not black series line. Nope, that was it. That was all they had at Walmart, and that's all they've had at that Walmart for it months. It is. It is. I mean, Target's not doing much better. I mean, no. Where is the product? I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just our area. Maybe you're seeing better. I mean, we are in the, the southeast Wisconsin, Milwaukee area. That's We're where seeing, we do most yeah. of our hunting. So we see nothing here. Maybe nothing. you have better better luck elsewhere. But everything here is the same that it's been for months. And yet I have to see people with 60 of the item I want that Walmart allowed them to buy. One at actual price. But it, it's not just the Rex. It's no. almost any new figure that is an exclusive it's, you're yeah, going to pay a premium for. you see the word exclusive, for. you're in trouble. I mean... Yeah, ha- and I mean, half? exclusive to Hasbro ones are nice because they do limit you. Yeah, but but half none of, of the other figures, sites want to. But I mean, just, just think of how much this the Black Series collecting has changed since it began in mm. 2013 or 14, when they would have maybe two new waves, two to three waves a year of like four figures. You would it would be like ten to twelve new figures a year. There was like one exclusive. There was the Walgreens, you know, prototype Boba Fett and the Target. 
Shadow Troopers pack, which was everywhere back then. Yeah. I don't know how many we passed and on, the on clearance. <laughs> yeah, the SDCCs as well. You're right, the Java and the, the Han and... Or the Boba Fett the with Boba Han Fett and with the Han. Yeah. Which now, thankfully, you could just... Can we just want a resin cast on, on yeah. for that? Yeah, plus they sell the Han and Carbonite now, too, on, oh, you're right, on the card right. back. Yeah. So, I mean, you had, like, maybe one exclusive, one really big exclusive a year, and then, like, two waves of figures that you could actually find in the stores. What? And, yeah, now they expect you to buy... How many, I mean, actually, not too many waves of actual figures come out. It's all these exclusives, mm-hmm. you know, dotting every retailer across the <laughs> across the board. It's even hard to keep track of. It is. I have this master list of which ones I have, where I have them pre-ordered. I have some figures that have been pre-ordered for months, if not even close to a year. <laughs> and then something shows up, and we're like, what, what's in the box? <laughs> I know. It's always like Christmas, because I have no idea what figure is going to be in there. Is it one I ordered a year ago, or the one I ordered last week, or what is it? And then you get disappointed, because you open the box, and like, hey, it's my Harley Quinn figure. <laughs> yeah. And then oh, we, it's my new Sailor Moon yeah, figure art. Yeah. Nobody cares about that. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I know. But no, it, it has become very complicated from what it started out as. And I don't I don't mind the fact that there is so much to collect, per se. I understand it's expensive, and I don't like, you know, <laughs> the idea of spending so much money on it. Yet I do like the idea of there being plenty of product. It keeps it exciting that all these new figures are coming. I just think they, they need to... I mean, they need to pull their head out of their ass and, and get this the exclusives under, under wraps. Control. I mean, if you want to do it, okay... That's that's one thing, but make sure the retailers are allowing customers to get them without having to pay three times the price because some mm-hmm. asshat decided to order 60 of them, you know, day one. But anyway, to wrap this up, what is Hasbro doing? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Are you confused by this Rancor thing? Do you not understand why they released all these HasLab projects at once? Are you disappointed with the Tier 1 mm-hmm. unlock? Do you think we're going to get there? I mean, there's no guarantee we're going to get the 9,000, much less 11,000 for the first unlock. Do you have any ideas on how in the heck that we can manage to get pre-orders better? (laughs) Yeah, give me... We'll take suggestions. Do you have a Captain Rex Bad Batch? Let me know. (laughs) (laughs) I'm fiending over here. It's missing in my collection. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. But but seriously, I mean, you know, we were going to end it. But to to touch on it, I do think that the Rancor will get backed. I don't know how many of these tiers we unlock, much less the first one and the other three they have planned after that yeah they have to release a tier that's like ten thousand <laughs> yeah we um that was a joke there's actually one at there ten thousand yeah and it's something people would actually yeah, want next friday we're gonna have another fan first and this time it's really gonna be fan first because they're gonna give fans what they actually want not a carded i mean it's a cool figure i'm not trying to diss the carded no, the power of the force Gamarin. yeah i love the old the look of the vintage power of the force you know that's it's and a the classic Gamorian thing. Was a really good figure, really well made. One of their nice best. Figure. Yeah. One of the best in the Black Series line. I Top mean, five, probably. I get that. Yeah, people may not have gotten one back in the day. All they right, were, sure. We, those were actually we were able to find those in the store, so I'm thinking but, those weren't too bad. But, but I don't on, know. Come on. No. But anyway, yeah, I think I think it's going to be backed. I think we'll hit that nine thousand eventually. I just don't know that we're going to unlock all these tiers, especially when there's at the first tier was a Gamorian guard. Mm-hmm. But anyway, let us know what you think about any and all of this. I'm sorry we're ranting. We want this to be positive. We love collecting and we want to talk well about it. So Hasbro, fix your issues and we will certainly do that. Because knowledge is power. Yeah. That was it. (laughs) All right. Well, again, that's all we got for you this time. Take to the comments below. Tell us what you think. And until next time, thank you for watching.